We'll now look at how we can SSH into our server if we ever need to take a look in there, uh, perform any maintenance, install anything else. It's very rare that you would do this, but it's good to know. So the first step then is to grab the IP address of your server. That's important. And also remember the email that you were sent earlier with the sudo password, which can be useful, and the username. We're going to go over to our terminal. I'm inside of the SSH directory. Now at the moment, we can't actually SSH into our server. Let's actually try it and see what happens. So uh, let's go ahead and try this. And you can see here we get pub permission denied public key. Now the reason for this is that inside of Forge, we actually need to set the keys that are allowed to access this server. That's really important. We don't use a password to SSH in. That's pretty insecure. We're going to be using a public and private key. So I'm using a Mac and I'm going to generate my key on the command line. But if you are using Windows, you can use something like PuTTY. So how do we generate an SSH key? Well, let's go ahead and do this. I'm currently within my SSH directory within my home folder. And I'm going to go and say SSH keygen TRSA. That's going to ask me where I want to save this. And I'm just going to call this Instacademy. Hit enter. I'm going to overwrite the one that already exists because I already had one. I don't want a passphrase, so I'm going to hit enter again. So now we actually have a public key called instacademy.pub. So we can use the cat command to go instacademy.pub. That will just output that to the screen there. And we can go ahead and copy all of these contents over and we can paste these in. So I'm just going to call this Alex, paste that in and hit add key. And what that will do is it will install that key on the server. So next time we connect, we can specify that we want to use the Instacademy key and that will go ahead and allow me in then. So that's installing that key now. Let's just wait for a couple of minutes while that finishes. Okay, so that's now installed and we can go ahead and reconnect and this time it will let us in. So let's just clear the screen here. And this time we're going to SSH over as Forge. We're going to go ahead and grab the IP address again. So we'll copy and paste this. And this time we're going to choose which key we want. So it's Instacademy. That's the uh, private key. So now this will let us in and we are now within the uh, Ubuntu operating system on our server. Perfect. So we can list a directory now and you can see that is our site. So if you have multiple sites, you'll see lots of these. And you can see now this is called instacademy.com. We know exactly what it is and we can go and uh, basically switch over to that directory. You can see the public folder. Now remember the public folder is basically what we have under the meta under our site. So if we go over to our site again, under meta, you can see that directory there. If this was ever changed, which we will do later when we go ahead and we use Envoy to actually deploy, then we need to update this. But for now, we know that uh, this file here is basically what we're being served here. So that's the PHP info file. So if you did ever want to mess around in here, you can go ahead and create new files. You can uh, do whatever you want pretty much. But that is essentially uh, what we have. We can look into this later when we set Envoy up to see what's going on. So we now have the ability to SSH into our server. We can do whatever we want from here. If you want to manually restart services, you can go ahead and do so. Now this will ask you for your uh, pseudo password, which we know it's just here. So we can just go ahead and grab this pseudo password and we can paste that in and that will go ahead and restart the server for us. So we are now inside of our server. We've SSH'd in and we're ready to move on to set up Envoyer. But in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about what Envoyer is and why it's useful.